Hello gamers, hope you're doing well, hope you're doing well, uh, no snapshot today, but hey, it's okay, uh, I have something really big and different actually planned for today, but first, um, I need to talk about yesterday's sheep mural incident, um, <laughs> got a lot of hate from you guys in the comments, not, not digging it, uh, let's, let's, let's try a little, little better today to, to keep it good. <laughs> Uh, so today, tell me what you think about my hat down below. Remember, keep it clean, keep it nice, and keep it good. Despite the fact that there was no snapshot today, Minecraft 1.14 is on its way, and I think it's pretty close to, uh, reality. Today, we find ourselves back in Minecraft 1.12.2 to showcase actually a mod, and then we'll talk about how this mod kind of relates to the new update near the end and what I'm kind of thinking. So if you enjoy the video, drop a like, subscribe, and turn on those video notifications so you see when I upload right away. Also, Cracked Shots made me aware of this mod in the DangerCraft Discord server, so thank you Cracked for showing me this. Aha, uh -huh, so, <laughs> listen closely and uh, don't look behind me, no, um, uh, do you hear anything different? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, that's because there is something different. Right here, we have the Guard Illager mob. That is all this mod adds in. It's a pretty small mod, honestly. Uh, and yes, I did struggle to install the mod. Um, <laughs> I'm new to modding and, and everything like that, and I had a lot of trouble installing it. But uh, this mod adds in this guy right here, and this guy has a custom item, which is that hat that I was wearing earlier. I, in fact, did lie. This is not my hat. This is their hat. Now, uh, first off, let's take a look at the skin of this thing, because it is so 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 cool we have a matching gray shirt you know matching with me and then a really really cool cape some potions on the side and yeah just the absolutely amazing looking 1.14 villager style hat now you can find these guard illagers spawning inside of your mansion and outside of the mansion these are meant to be mansion guards so you know it would kind of make sense if these guys spawned right on the outside and um, over here, <laughs> there are quite a few guard illagers. Uh, we definitely will be taking these on in a little bit and trying to see, you know, how strong they are. But yeah, they spawn uh, quite a bit. Now, in terms of everything else about them, they're pretty much just the same as a normal illager. Nothing too crazy OP or anything like that. They blend right in with this community that already kind of exists here. They can drop potions, they can drop swords, and they also can drop their hat. The hat is going to be a rare drop, though. From all of the guards that I've killed so far, I have not received one single hat. So the item is pretty rare, or at least pretty rare without any looting on my sword. All right, so I have killed 50 or 51. Let me check. Uh, statistics, mobs, uh, yep, 51 guard illagers, and this is what I got. Everything in this chest here. So a couple swords and then two potions of healing. So... Yeah, no helmet. The helmet is, like, pretty rare. And by the way, my sword does have looting three now, so, uh, yeah. But it's okay, because the helmet actually doesn't really do much other than, you know, just kind of exist as maybe a collectible item. The helmet does give plus two armor to the player, and uh, it uh, <laughs> blocks your view quite a bit. So it's probably not the ideal, you know, headwear, uh, especially if you're trying to do anything where you need to see, but... Uh, it is in the game, and you can collect it. I believe a further and better use will be coming soon. By the way, there is a mod link down below. Uh, but I think it's time we flip over into survival here, and let these guys, uh, take a swing at us and see. Uh, okay, so a heart and a half, but I do have diamond armor on. Let's move over and get rid of our diamond armor so we can get a better idea here. Uh, somebody poke me. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> four hearts. Okay, uh-huh, yep, yep. So that's going to be pretty much in line with what these illagers already do. Aha, uh -huh, you have a shield. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, this is not good. Uh, oh, no, there, there's a mob of them. Uh, um, um, <laughs> uh, oh no, uh, they have potions, um, yeah, uh-huh, uh, 
<laughs> oh boy. Um yeah, I like the shield. The shield's Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh oh. Ooh. Ah. Uh -huh. So, that's the guard illager, but how does this all relate to Minecraft 1.14? Well, uh, if you take a look at this village here, you will notice really no true defender, like, at all. I mean, we do have the Iron Golem, but, I mean, let's be honest, if we had a multi-wave raid attacking this town, do, do you really think that the Iron Golem is going to be able to tackle the, the whole thing, you know, Ravagers, Illagers, Witches, and all? Uh, yeah, probably not at all. <laughs> I think the Golem would last maybe the first two raids, maybe, depending on how his age AI actually behaves. The point that I'm getting at here is I, I believe the mod that we took a look at today showcases something very, very well that is much needed for these new villages. Villagers aren't really known to be aggressive at all, and I think that's a good thing. However, with even more bad guys than before in the game, it might not be a bad idea to consider implementing some form of guard villager into the game to help defend the villages. I do believe that the rest of the villagers shouldn't really attack or do anything. That's just not their nature. It would change their lore completely. However, if let's say the Fletcher villager or a brand new guard villager were to attack and fight back, these villages would be just a little bit safer. There's no way in the world the players are actually going to find these things and build a berry wall around it in survival or at least around every village in their world, maybe around one, but yeah, the villagers are going to get abandoned by players, and I think it would be a really nice thing to have some sort of better defense system, uh, but what do you think? I think Cor Curse Forge um, <laughs> uh, messed up my, my textures a little bit. I don't know what that's all about. If somebody knows, uh, yeah, drop a comment. I I'm telling you, I messed up when I was installing the thing. But that's pretty much it. That's the whole video. So there is a mod link down below in the description. Uh, definitely check that out if you're interested. I wanted to tie this all into the new 1.14 update in some way. So yeah, there we go. Uh, no snapshot this week, but there should be a pretty big one next week. There should be a Bedrock beta update this week so maybe we'll get a table use and there or something cool as well thank you very much for watching drop a like if you liked it subscribe if you haven't tell me what you think about villages and their defense down below and until next time go have a good day my name is waddles goodbye everybody